Hey everybody, it's Chuck Connor. Welcome back to more Pokemon Fire Red. In the last part, we defeated Giovanni at Self Company. In this part, we're going to be covering the two gyms of Saffron City. Now, in here, you're required to fight at least two of these trainers. Um, step in the middle, though, they fight you one after another, though. Um, these guys are going to mainly have fighting type Pokemon. This is a fighting type gym. This is not an official Pokemon League gym, though, so you're not going to get any badges for fighting these guys, okay? You're just going to be doing this in order to get something kind of cool, I guess you could say. Now, I guess I'll just go ahead and speed through these four fights, just because I don't really want to show them all. Okay, so after that, I've gone ahead and healed. You have the Karate Master! He will fight you pretty much no matter what, even if you go even if you go around on the sides, he'll still fight you. You have to fight this guy, he's the boss of the area. He fights you using Hitmonlee, which is a more offensive Pokemon, as we covered before, as I told you about Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan before. He's gonna fight using Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan. So we have Hitmonlee the offensive one, Hitmonchan the defensive one. And introducing the next generation out of this one was Hitmon Top, the balanced one, but he doesn't have Hitmon Top and it's not in the main story of this game either, so. Uh, let's just go ahead and see if we can beat it with Lapras, hopefully. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, wow, that confusion did a lot. Jeez, I guess it's because it's attack stat. Alright, come on, let's go for two. Two, 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 two. Aw, oh, Mind Reader. Mind Reader makes it so that its next attack is going to hit, for sure. So no matter what it does next turn, as long as it attacks, it's going to uh, hit me. And it's probably trying to do High Jump Kick, because High Jump Kick is a very powerful move Hitmonlee can have. And if it misses, it does half the damage it would have done to the opponent to itself. So it was probably trying to do high jump kick there before the confusion beat it. Uh, I know Lapras is weak to fighting type moves, so it's kind of risky to have it out there. And I also know that Lapras and Persian share a weakness to fighting, while Lapras and Fero share a weakness to electric. But, you know, excuse me. Uh, if it does those punches on you, like Fire Punch, Thunder Punch, and Ice Punch, Hitmonchan's a special as a physical attacker, and those attacks are special, and they weren't physical until Diamond and Pearl, so you won't have to worry about a thing. Those attacks aren't going to be doing much. Um, I guess I could have always done Perish some- Why are you doing Ice Punch? I took two damage! Two! I'm Water and Ice! I'm Quad Resist- <laughs> Parafusion! Para frickin' fusion. I actually was considering getting like a Hitmonchan for my team and aiming at like Little Mac or something like that. Whatever. I decided against it. Uh, I don't know. I like Hitmonlee a lot more though, because Hitmonlee was actually the first Pokemon I ever saw. There's a little bit of a tidbit there for you. It was the first Pokemon I ever saw because I was flipping through the channels and Hitmonlee happened to be on screen during a Pokemon commercial. That one that Drake Bell was in. And it's kind of funny how Drake, it, speaking of that commercial, it's so funny how Drake Bell actually got his debut on TV. To, thank you for that. Okay, I guess that's... Whoa! Oh, you jerk! You! You know what? I'm going to be an even bigger jerk and use a potion. I'm going to be an even bigger jerk and use a super potion. Uh... It's going to do normal damage. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Paralyzed! Ah! And I'm not paralyzed. Die. Lapras, I love you. You and your defense. It's just so awesome. You have been beaten. Now, for winning this fight, you may now... Let's see here. Dude, I've lost. Alright, fine. He will give us a prized fighting Pokemon. You can get either... Hitmonchan, the punching Pokemon, or Hitmonlee, the kicking Pokemon. Choice number one, Hitmonchan, I really don't recommend as much as Hitmonlee, mainly just because a lot of its punching attacks are still counted as special attacks in this game, and because of that, they end up just not doing very much damage. It does have good defense, though, but a lot of its attacks just aren't promoted by its stats until Diamond and Pearl when the physical special split happens, so I don't recommend Hitmonchan, at least not in this game. And then choice number two is Hitmonlee, which is the more offensive of the two. Personally, I like this one a lot more. It's got, you know, I like its ability, Limber. I mean, its other ability, Reckless, is good, though. I'd rec I definitely try to get one with Limber if you need to just save in front of it and keep resetting over and over again until you get that ability. Honestly, I like Hitmonlee more. It just, it's a damage dealer, and its attacks are actually promoted by its stats. Now that that is over, I guess we're going to go ahead and head to Saffron City Gym. 
Alright, now that we're here in the Saffron Gym, there is a very short way you can get to the gym leader. I went ahead and I fought all the trainers in here while we were gone. This is done by the same teleport pads that you find in the Sylph Company. So they just look a little bit different. And then just go down here. That is the shortest route you can take to the gym leader, Sabrina. Go and talk to her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon I carelessly saw some bents. Maybe just hit it against the wall. Ah, uh, yeah, she thinks she's psychic. And guess what Pokemon she uses? Psychic types. Yes. There is Sabrina. She starts off with a Kadabra. This could be an annoying fight, just saying. As you see, my Lapras now knows Psychic. I decided to use my Psychic TM for it off camera. Let's go ahead and open up with a Confuse Ray. He's got Calm Mind there, which is a really annoying move. It's going to up his uh, special attack and special defense. And let's aim for a Parafusion. Come on. Paralysis and Confusion. If I can get Lapras to beat this Kadabra by itself at this low a level, because I just got it, oh god, that's going to be so good. Uh, that's not good. If it's boosting its special attack that high, oh, that could be bad. Let's see if we can finish this fast. Oh, you gotta be! Oh, thank god. Thank god. <laughs> thank god. <laughs> that could have been bad. Critical hit. We could have used that critical hit last turn, you know. Alright, I had no idea Lapras was going to do quite that much damage, and it's... Oh, it's learning Ice Beam! I freaking love Ice Beam! And it gets same type attack bonus with it. Let's go ahead and lose Perish Song. Perish Song makes it so all Pokemon on the field faint in three turns, though, but if the foes switches out or if you switch out, the effects get negated, and frequently foes do switch out, so I don't think it's very useful. And she's going to send in Mr. Mime. Ah, what the heck. We can... We'll see if we can take the Future Sight attack. We'll see if we can. Let's just go ahead and Ice Beam. Uh, body slam from the beginning. Psybeam. Thank god we didn't get confused there. That could have been really bad. Okay. Come on, Lapras. It's probably going to get hit by the future side attack at the end of this turn. Let's just hope we can survive it. If we can paralyze, it would be great. Oh, critical! Lapras! You rock! And Venomoth. That's kind of a weird Pokemon to have on your team. Whatever. And we take the future side attack. Let's see if we can live. Come on, let us live. Let us live. Man, I should have figured. When your special attack's been boosted that much, I figured as much. Um, let's go for cold. <laughs> let's go for cold. Let's go for broke. All right, come on, aerial ace. Oh, come on. You can't get a one hit. Get Thank God that missed. God, we're just. Stop with the potions. Okay, thanks. Bye. Jeez. Ah, oh, hit a gym leader. Use potions all the time. Would you? Ah. Oh. Look, it didn't work last time. It's not gonna work this time either. Okay. Ah. Oh. Damn, gym leaders and their potions. All right. Looks like we're gonna level up. Thank God. Okay. And Alakazam, the strongest member of her team. This could actually get a little bit hairy. Uh, let's try Pursuit, just because of the dark type of... Oh! That isn't good, because dark is special. And it gets special defense. I gotta stop talking like that. Come on. That didn't do anything. We're the pirates who don't do anything. Yeah, whatever. And it freaking, she freaking loves using Future Sight. I don't know why. It's not even that great of a move. Alright, Aerial Ace, come on, finish it. Finish him. Come on, we coming up on the timeline. We gotta finish this. Now. Okay, I went ahead and I taught my Persian uh, Toxic with the TM that I got of it off camera. And it's useless to do a Future Sight again because you can only have one uh, banked at a time. And this could be bad. Persian's a Pokemon that gets free hits a lot, so yeah, it's a good Pokemon to teach moves like Toxic too. You gotta be kidding me. Let's try Arcanine. You gotta be kidding me. You're level 43. I should have figured as much though, but still. Okay. Flame Wheel, go! Oh, come on, Arcanine. If you can survive through this. Uh, 
Let's not risk Venusaur, because it's weak to Psychic, so let's just do Mr. Mime. Uh, let's just finish with Magical Leaf. Alright, this Mr. Mime should live through this, because it's got good special defense. Alright, good. And... It's doing everything it can to use up time. Good. Die. Thank you, and good night. Wow, that experience just shot right up. And we've defeated Sabrina! Alright. Alright. And... We get TMO4 from Sabrina, which... Teaches Calm Mind. Now let's just get out of here before the time limit catches us. 